Immerse yourselves in the 12th century, a time of knights, castles, and power struggles. This was an epoch defined by a delicate dance of diplomacy and warfare, a time when the crown was as much a target as it was a symbol of authority. Amidst this backdrop of intrigue and ambition, the role of women was largely defined by their familial connections and their ability to bear heirs. They were pawns in the grand game of royal chess, yet some managed to carve a path of their own. Nobility was not just about bloodline, it was about power, influence and strategic alliances. It was a world where a well-planned marriage could shift the balance of power and shape the course of history. In this tumultuous era, Eleanor of Aquitaine was born, a woman destined to shape history. Her life was a testament to the power of determination, intelligence and unyielding spirit, even in the face of societal constraints. Born into nobility, Eleanor was a pawn in the Game of Thrones from a young age. As the eldest daughter of William X, Duke of Aquitaine, she was one of the wealthiest and most eligible heiresses in Europe. At the tender age of 15, she inherited the Duchy of Aquitaine, a vast and rich territory in southwestern France. Shortly afterward, she was wed to Louis VII, the King of France. Despite the grandeur of their union, the marriage was fraught with challenges. Their personalities clashed, and the couple had only two daughters, failing to produce a male heir. After a contentious and dramatic period, their marriage was annulled after 15 years. This event had profound implications, not just for Eleanor and Louis, but for the power dynamics of Europe. Eleanor's annulment from Louis VII marked the end of one chapter and the beginning of another, even more influential one. From the French king to the English throne, Eleanor's journey was far from ordinary. With the Plantagenet dynasty now controlling vast territories, spanning from Scotland to the Pyrenees. Eleanor and Henry's marriage was a prolific one, producing eight children, two of whom would etch their names in the annals of history, Richard and John. Richard, also known as Richard the Lionheart, was a king of great courage and prowess, his reign characterized by his military exploits during the Crusades. On the other hand, John, albeit less popular, was a central character in one of the most significant moments of medieval history, the signing of the Magna Carta. The marriage was not without its challenges, as Eleanor and Henry's relationship was marked by periods of intense conflict. Eleanor, however, proved herself a formidable force, navigating through the political intricacies of the time with unyielding tenacity. She played an instrumental role in the upbringing of her children, ensuring that they were well equipped to take on the mantle of leadership. Despite the trials and tribulations of her marriage, Eleanor's influence was undeniably stamped on England and its future kings. Her legacy indeed is one of great resilience, political acumen and indelible impact on the course of history. Eleanor's twilight years were no less eventful than her earlier life. After a tumultuous reign, Eleanor found herself imprisoned by her second husband, King Henry II of England. Yet her spirit remained unbroken. She became the de facto ruler of England when her son Richard ascended the throne, for Richard spent most of his reign abroad on crusades and battles. During Richard's reign, Eleanor's influence was strongly felt. She navigated the complex political landscape, securing alliances and managing domestic affairs. Eleanor's diplomatic skills were put to the test when Richard was captured on his way back from the Crusades. She tirelessly negotiated his release, even as she worked to secure the succession of her youngest son, John. When Richard passed away, Eleanor's efforts ensured John's smooth transition to the throne. In her 80s, Eleanor continued to be politically active, traveling extensively to maintain the stability of John's reign. Finally, in the year of 1104, Eleanor, the indomitable queen, breathed her last, leaving behind a legacy that spanned continents and generations. Her influence extended far beyond her reign and her life. It shaped the course of history. Eleanor was a queen, a diplomat, a mother, a negotiator, a power broker. Her story is a testament to her resilience, her intelligence, and her indomitable spirit. Eleanor of Aquitaine was not just a queen, but a woman who shaped the course of history, leaving a legacy that still resonates today.